you'll get that reference when you watch the movie. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie. Uh, today we're gonna be uh, talking about Detective Pikachu. I'm gonna try really, really hard not to give any spoilers, and if I do, don't worry, I'm gonna, of course, put it in uh, my title that there's spoilers. Are you excited? Yeah, I think you just peed a little. <laughs> so, oh, no, that's me. That was me. Who else was super excited to finally get a live action Pokemon movie? I was very excited. I'm not like a big die-hard super Pokemon fan. I used to watch it back in when I was younger and I really, really, really enjoyed it. So let's go ahead and get on with the review of Detective Pikachu. So Pokemon Detective Pikachu is rated PG. It's an hour and 44 minutes long. It's a fantasy mystery. It's set to release May the 10th. It's directed by uh, Rob Leatherman and a production company was from Warner Brothers. Because of the previews, I knew that it wasn't going to be like the cartoon that I watched when I was younger. It's actually based on a video game by the same name, Detective Pikachu, that came out in 2016. So it does star Ryan Reynolds as Detective Pikachu, which I gotta say, I, I really like. I think some people might have been on the fence of Deadpool basically being the voice personality that I got out of Pikachu, which is a bit of a, like, asshole, right? I mean, mm. you find that Ryan's voice actually fits. It also stars uh, Justin Smith, Fred Newton, Suki Waterhouse, Omar Chaparro, you guys. I actually had not seen the trailer with Omar in it. So when I saw him there as a freaking Pokemon trainer in this club with the freaking Charizard, I said, when Tim's dad dies, he's actually a detective in Rhyme City, which is like the best freaking made-up CD there could be because oh by the way let me just stop right here real quick little me little me like even at this point little me is like trying to kick my butt because I I don't remember all the Pokemon's names what their ability is I don't remember what their weakness is what like time that a Pokemon involves I don't remember dude like little me like they knew all that so while Tim is basically trying to clean up the dad's apartment, kind of ends up finding this little vial and ends up opening it. And it's like this like really mystical like purple smoke. But we find out that that little purple smoke ends up making like Pokemon kind of like mad for a second. So we end up seeing all the... I don't remember that Pokemon's name. It's like a monkey, but the the tail has a little hand deal. Well, they go like freaking insane. Before that kind of happens, it's where Tim and Pikachu end up finding each other. And, I, you know, it's when we find out that Pikachu actually lost his memory. He doesn't know anything. And that's not a spoiler because that is in the trailer. So, now their thing is, well, I think that your dad is not really dead. You know, we see that in the previous two. So we're trying to kind of like solve his mystery. So they kind of like join forces and like go off and try to like find all these clues. Getting the help of Lucy to try to help them kind of uncover everything that they need to be uncovered. Now Lucy's Pokemon is Psyduck. All the Pokemon to get, right? Even like Pikachu was all like, really? Really? A Psyduck? The Psyducks like really need to like stay calm and not like they're like a bomb okay so they they kind of like eject this sonic wave i guess and then that goes very very far we do have a big role in this film uh be one of the most powerful uh, pokemon that there is oh okay i do kind of want to give you a little hint like not really a spoiler but just kind of like be on the lookout for one girl she is like security and she has like bubblegum pink gloves watch out for her I feel like this is actually gonna be a very great enjoyable movie overall for like everybody you don't necessarily have to be into Pokemon to understand this movie to follow to love it to laugh with it when they do um, close-ups you guys on Pikachu it is so good I mean, it's like you can literally almost like see the person. Like, I legit wanted to like grab Pikachu and just like pet him. 
I wanted to pet CGI Pikachu because he looked that fluffy. I wanted him to be up on my shoulder walking around. I, I would do that, Pikachu. I would have you here so I could just, but I want to be like petting you on someone. Wait, 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 there is one. I don't know if he's a Pokemon or if it's just there. But there's a panda. I don't recall there being a panda Pokemon. Is that like one of the newer ones? I don't remember it. I was kind of like lost. I turned around and I was like, I don't know what that is. Like if that's just a panda, like they're kind of trying to mix Zootopia into this. I don't know. So I was confused. But if there is a panda Pokemon, let me know in the comments below that there's one. But then again, remember, I'm not like a diehard Pokemon fan. But from when I remember when I watched it when I was little, I don't remember there being a panda. And I feel like that would be a Pokemon I would remember. This Jigglypuff, oh my god, it was so funny. This one is like a little, it's, it's not really a spoiler because it has no like actual significance. The bar, but it's like a cafe, but it's a cafe because as you know in the trailers, Pikachu has a caffeine problem, right? In the background, you always see this one man just like passed down on the table and Jigglypuff is just like singing. And I'm just like, that's just like the cutest thing ever. I'm assuming that's that man's Pokemon. Kiddos are gonna love it. If you were into Pokemon when you were younger, you're definitely gonna love it because we finally get a live action Pokemon movie. Where were you when I was younger? But, but I do gotta say, I'm kinda glad that we got it now because like all the CGI effects that it has now, we would obviously wouldn't have had it back then. So then that might've been like a disappointment. Like little me is like sad that I didn't get it back then, but like adult me is like, I'm glad that we it waited this long to have it. Okay, you guys, the ending. I'm not going to spoil it, but I honestly, the way that it ended, I did not see that coming. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, and I'll see you at concessions. Bye. Bye. <laughs>